Um, so, if people, for people who haven't watched Sensei before, can you describe it in a short? Yeah, well, uh, epic, global. <laughs> now it's uh, eight people who are, have the ability to connect each other, uh, themselves with each other, uh, in a way that they can feel, sense, uh, and also appear uh, in each other reality. So uh, they have to find out about it. Now that this is done in the first season, they try to find out uh, who is hunting them. They try to, uh, yeah, battle this uh, dark force called BPO and uh, uh, also um, going after their emotional, uh, yeah, I mean, they have, each and every single one has their backstory and they have to deal with that too. Wolfgang is a guy that is pretty much involved in uh, the crime scene in Berlin and he uh, had a trauma from his uh, childhood that uh, he solved with killing almost everyone in his family and yeah now he has to clean, clean up his mess and uh, face the other gangsters in Berlin and find his uh, path here. Yeah. So when you first got the script yeah, and it hadn't become this kind of visual feast, uh, did you think it was completely mad? What was yes. your reaction? Yeah, I had no idea how that would look like, you know, how is that even possible to like watch, you know, because the follow up on uh, eight storylines is pretty intense already, but also like uh, appearing like in these different realities. I always wondered about the effect, you know, what it looked like in Star Trek where they beam each other, you know, or, you know, but yeah, it was, uh, in the end it was pretty logic, you know, how it came across, it was like, yeah, very beautiful and yeah, I love that series because you always can find something new because there's so much to see, you know, and uh, also the message of it itself is beautiful. Mm -hmm. So working with Wachowskis who like Matrix, Cloud Atlas, what's that like? It's, yeah, first, yeah, like you say, it's like a little bit intimid intimidating, you know, when you work like with these geniuses, you know, that it can always tell, you know, if you're like shy or, you know, you always have to be brave and uh, very open. You have to trust a lot, you know, even though if you don't understand it right away, you have to like, yeah, deliver and also stay flexible. Uh, I think Sensei has delivered some of the like most interesting scenes I've ever seen on TV. Yeah. What's your favorite scene you shot? My favorite scene I shot, uh, I love the action scenes. I also love, you know, club scenes, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's, uh, there was so much, like, fun scenes, like, uh, also the orgies, because if you do something new, you know, you know, you are very afraid of, or you can't, like, imagine what it's like, you know, and you see what it's really like, then, yeah, you just learn so much, you know, about yourself, but also about, like, that is just on your mind and, you know. Yeah, so there's been two orgies now in right. nine episodes, is it? Um, is that awkward afterwards or is it fine? No, it gets, it gets uh, not, not normal, but uh, no, you just uh, deal with it. And if the context is right, if the message, you know, behind it is right, it's more, it's not a real orgy, you know, it's not about the fucking, you know, it's not the physical act, it's more about the, the message behind it and the aesthetic, you know, and the, yeah, metaphor for the sensuality you have, like the feeling you have when you have something like that, or when you think of that. Who's your favorite character? My favorite character is Mice. <laughs> <laughs> My character, no. Uh, I love Lito very much, he's very funny. He had this funny scenes and I lo love to laugh about him. Yeah. What's, uh, what's it like when you're shooting scenes where you're kind of switching places, because you kind of become each other in some... Yeah. So the one where you're on the ground, Right. And by the car and lead to, yeah. What's that like logistically? Is it complicated? Yeah, no, not really. Because uh, the logistics are all in the hands of, uh, yeah, very professional people. They are doing like Hollywood stuff, you know, you don't have to worry about anything. It's just about your own imagination or you have to remember what it was like when you shot it the first time because you always shoot it like in two locations and then you have to like uh, find yourself again in a different environment but in the same kind of mood, you know, and that is yeah, sometimes a little bit hard, you know, to uh, imagine or, or to remember. So season two, um, Whispers, Mr. Whispers is kind of the main horrible mm -hmm. villain. 
Mm. What can we expect from him and from just generally the story? Well, I can't give you details, but uh, yeah, he's a mean bastard and uh, he um, wants to kill us. And uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's going to be a rough and tough battle. And we are trying to stay a step ahead of him or his plans, you know, and try to hunt them down.